Hi, I'm Ayman. Hi, I'm Amira. Uh, this is Teddy. Uh, you may remember him from a, some of our previous videos, the uh, pizza one and the aligning the tires one. And welcome back to another video in our series of converting our patio to a three season summer. And we're going to be doing a bit of a, a progress, uh, progress check because we don't really have anything in particular to show you right now. But today we're asking uh, Teddy to help us with uh, digging some holes because we're going to be putting some concrete footing for our sunroof. Right, so first, uh, Teddy, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, my name's Teddy. I was uh, in town and so they decided to put me to work <laughs> to uh, pay off all the food that I ate. Mm -hmm. He's the buffest man I know. He climbs too. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him do a front lever. Very cool. <laughs> and do you know what you're doing? Do I, mean, I know? I mean, do you know I'm digging a hole. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so in Connecticut, um, you have to build a foundation so that in the winter, uh, when everything freezes, this, uh, this room doesn't move. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, frost heave. Frost heave, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were digging a 36 inch hole and uh, putting a concrete footing underneath here. We already have two more. That one we set what, two days ago. Mm -hmm. That one's already done. And I think they're going to be three more. Uh, concrete footings to support uh, this room. Yeah. So, right now we're just digging the hole so that we can pour the concrete down here. Nice. Keep it up. So yeah. just to elaborate on what he said, in the in the winter the ground freezes and it, it freezes to up to a certain point. So in Connecticut it freezes up to below, um, up above 36 inches of depth. So we're trying to put concrete below that line of freezing so that when it when the ground freezes and it shifts, which is called frost heaving. The, uh, the sun room won't be as effective, it won't move. And we're going to be doing six of these footings. Uh, we're going to be doing one in that corner, one in that corner, two in the middle, and then one in these corners. All right, so just to draw it, this, these are the positions of the six um, piers or foundations. You have three right under the, uh, the uh, railroad ties, uh, a, a bit hanging off. And then you have three, not under the house, but a, bit, a, a few feet away from the house. And the reason why is because you maximize the amount of support if you do it here rather than near the house. And there's other reasons, but that's the main reason. Uh, and the way that we're doing this, we're, going, we're doing this sequentially. We're, we're starting out with the corner. We're digging up the hole, we're putting the concrete. Then after the concrete is set, we put the dirt back in and then we move on to the next hole. And the reason why is first off, we need to keep these bricks on the floor so that we can get the, the wheelbarrow inside but also because it minimizes the amount of dirt that we have to take out. So as you can see, we already have that hole done. We put the dirt back in. And then uh, after that concrete sets over there, we're going to put all, put all the dirt back in. And then we're going to continue with this hole. And then we're going to continue with that hole. And then at, at, after, at, after we do all these steps, we should have all these um, patio tiles taken out. And these patio tiles are expensive, so we need to use them. We can't keep them under the deck because that would be a waste of money. We're going to be using them under the gazebo. And it's gonna look pretty cool, I think. Um, so the plan for the sunroom is that we're going to have it be a floating deck. It's basically gonna be a wooden platform that normally floating decks can go up and down with the ground. They're usually out in the yard, they are like a wooden platform that you just put on the ground. And this means that they go up and down as the ground changes. In our case, our floating deck won't change because it's supported by the six concrete uh, foundations which don't move at all. There are many advantages to a floating deck. The first one is that if you want to support it, as opposed to a attached deck, which would require much more work, with a floating deck, all you need is to support it with footings, which is what we're doing. So it's very easy. The second uh, advantage is that you don't have to apply for a permit when you're doing uh, floating decks, as opposed to ones that are attached to the house. The third one is that, going along with the theme of attaching it to the house, you don't have to do all the complex calculations for like weight and pressure when you're attaching it to the house if you're using a floating deck. It, it has no bearing on the house or the, uh, the pressure or force exerted on the house. It's just by itself, it's standalone. The final uh, advantage is that it's basically modular. You can take it out and install it or remove it whenever you need to. And that's, I'd say that's probably the best advantage of a floating deck. Just to visualize it, this is what a floating deck looks like. Like I said, it's a wooden platform. It's the same as building a floor, but uh, you have the joist on the bottom, and then you take uh, plywood or some other subfloor, and then you place it on top, 
you take the regular flooring and you place it on top of the sub flooring and do all that jazz. And then you place it on top of all the uh, footers. And, and, and from what we can tell, it's going to work out pretty well, especially if we have the footing. That means it shouldn't move. And if it's kept in place by the rest of the patio, then it should look good. Anyway, other updates about the sunroom. As you can see, we have our window in the back. We, we did a video on installing it before. Did we? No, we did. Actually, no. We're going to do a video on installing these ones. But the reason that we did this one was so that I could get a, a, a taste at how to install a window and do the flashy tape. But we're going to do a video on these windows when we get them. Because we're actually going to get these like in a month or two. And the reason why is because uh, these windows are actually... There's like some delay with these windows because they're coming from China. Uh, I don't know what kind of delay that would be. You guys got any ideas? <laughs> There's the Suez Canal. Blocked <laughs> out, that's what I hear. <laughs> that's Europe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna get these uh, windows in May. We're, we hope to, we hope, we had hoped to have this window, uh, this uh, sunroom finished by the time these guys visited. But I guess this this uh, sunroom will have to be finished by the next time these guys visit. But anyway, I guess that's it for now. I'm Ima. I'm Amira. I'm Teddy. And thanks for watching. Uh, thank you guys for helping out with the sun room. We're going to put your name on one of the windows probably. There you go. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Please like and comment, subscribe, and look at videos on I and Iman, especially the videos on the sunroom to the patio to sunroom conversion, and other videos where I build stuff. And you got it. And also look at the videos where these guys are in, like the like uh, Kakat mentioned. Um, go and check out the Pepe's Pizzeria video. And we'll see you there. But for now, uh, signing out.